Most of the people that are saying that to me, their inspiration is for me, you know, and, and it's like it's it's like the circle of inspiration, you know, it's like uh, um, it's so cool for me to come in here and, and talk to you guys and, and, and get to perform and that's already inspiring, you know, on the way here just just feeling that feeling like people are going to come see me today and, and, and want to hear me and, and want to to listen to what I have to say. I mean, it's it's pretty amazing. And um, so so you guys are inspiring to me. And uh, and that's where music like this comes from. That's where wanting to be the best I could be comes from. And um, so uh, I thank you for that, for sure. Yeah, right here. What would you have done if you weren't a singer, other than Men's Warehouse? <laughs> yeah, Men's Warehouse wasn't the uh, no, that wasn't the dream. Um, you know what? I was. Uh, I've always been since I was a little baby. I was. I was into the environment, and uh, I was studying environmental science. And um, honestly, you know, I, I wanted to be with the animals in some way, some way, shape, or form. Um, whether it was the uh, uh, oceanography, you know, it was amazing to me. I always wanted to swim the sharks. I'm going to do it soon. I am going to do it. Um, or, uh, you know, going out into the safari and, and uh, um, either taping animals or, or studying them or whatever, or protecting them, you know, or our environment just in general. You know, I'm, I'm a huge environmentalist. And um, you know, I I want to conserve what we have, you know, for our children and their children's children. So, um, an environmentalist for sure. I'm just kind of weird, in that, you know, music. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. What was your most memorable moment on American Idol? Um, my most memorable moment. I have two. Um, the first one would be singing "Smoky Norfolk" for my life for um, the spot on Idol. Um, it was going into the top twelve, and they needed. Um, Everyone needed to sing for the spot. They picked like six people to come and and sing for their life, really. So I picked a song that was, um, it was dear to my heart. It was one of the first gospel songs I sang, and it was I really connected with this song so much. It was such a song that was, uh, um, you know, I it was really, it's called I Need You Now, and and I really needed him right then and there. Like I needed you, I need you now. Like I'm really on stage singing to him. It was such a uh, a, a wild moment. I don't even remember any of it. I just the only thing I could do is watch it on YouTube or whatever. Um, and but it was such an incredible <laughs> moment for me because after I got done singing, I didn't know what happened, but I knew it was good. So uh, that was an amazing moment. And then I'd say getting voted off. Um, I was so happy. Like I I didn't have to worry about the show anymore. It wasn't about um, being. It wasn't about being anything that I uh, that I really didn't feel I was at heart anymore. I could go and I graduated. I can work on my stuff now. Um, I was only idle to stay in LA after I got voted off. Uh, I stayed right there and worked and I worked. Um, I, I started living up in some motel for a while and, until my dad called me and said he got a buddy that that lived in Malibu. I can go stay with him for a little bit until I went on tour. So did that and uh, um, so you know getting voted off was was the best thing you know for me because I could start working on me and start being an individual artist and not just work for the machine and uh, a lot of people don't know what it's like you know um, you get voted off and they give you a ticket bye bye see you later you know and, and, and it's they have their thing and, and you're you're just a, a small part of what makes the machine work so they don't really worry about you too much after you're done they say, see you later, have a good one. And so um, I took it and I was so excited and I said, okay, great, I'm here and, and I've been given a name and now I, I, it's time to work. So i um, very happy for all those things and, and those two moments were definitely my, my most memorable. Any more questions? All right, right up here. Um, having experienced Idol, what changes do you think need to be made for future seasons? What changes do I think should be made for, yeah. to the show? Yeah, for future seasons. Oh, um, the show is the best show in the world for a reason. I mean, they do so many amazing things um, between the whole, you know, Ryan Seacrest and the suspense of it all and everything. I, I think the show is really great. Um, my only my only thing to, for them would be either to, like, switch out the judges every year. I think that would be huge. Um, you know, there's only so many critiques you can give before starting to sound like you're saying the same thing each and every night. So that's my only critique to the show. As far as everything else, it's a pretty flawless show, and there's a reason why it's been number one since it's been out. It's the best show out there, and there's, you know, every single vocal show out there is trying to be American Idol. That's what it is. Um, but uh, so the sh the show is great. You had a question? Do you get nervous? And if you do, what do you do to control that? Like before you perform? 
I think nervous has to. It's nervous is an emotion um, that you 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 play into for sure. You know, um, it's like hungry, being hungry almost. You know, you if, if you know you're hungry and you think about it, you become more hungry. Uh, for me, if I feel like I have butterflies or something, I, I think about it in a way of being so excited or being anxious or wanting to just go out there and, and sing. And so when I put it that way, it, it kind of rests my heart, rests my everything, my insides, and I can breathe. And uh, and so that helps out a lot. You know, you, if you think about it, ner being nervous, oh, I'm nervous, I'm so nervous. Of course, you're going to be nervous, you're going to start shaking, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. And, uh, and that's when you'll start feeding into it. So don't do that to yourself. Don't do it. There was one more question. No? All right, cool. Let's do the last song. Uh, the last